Hi friends, it's Miss Jill from the Cary Area Public Library. I'm here today to show you how to make a fun character creation from one of my favorite books, Rots, the bravest in the world. He is a potato and I'm going to show you how to make him. Okay, so the supplies we'll need to make our character rot are a large paper bag. Mine has handles. Yours doesn't have to. That's okay. Uh, a white piece of paper. A larger red piece of paper. I have here three pipe cleaners, black pipe cleaners. Some tape. Scissors. A black magic marker. Mine happens to be permanent, so um, you, you might want to use a, a washable one. Yeah, that would be totally fine. Uh, a pencil and some a glue stick. All right, so our first step is we need to cut our, um, or to, to draw a big potato sh shape onto your brown paper bag, which I've done here. And then you're gonna need your adult helper for this part. You need to cut this piece out. So, but I'm gonna cut this whole rectangle of the bag out first before I start cutting along my potato, sh actual potato shape. So we have less bag here in our way. And yeah, this is a, it's a little tricky to do, so it's good to have your adult help you. Okay, now, Da -da. We've got that piece out, but, and I am actually now gonna put down my scissors and I'm gonna flip over here and I'm gonna remove this handle here. And the way I'm gonna do that is just peel this backing off. And it comes off pretty easily. It's kind of fun to peel off here, there we go. And then grasp the handle like that. And take this one off. I got one off. And I'm going to take my other piece of bag. And then the only part we're going to be using from this is this other handle. So again, I'm going to take off the backing. Just tear it off gently. Oh, this one's coming right off. That's good. Okay. All right. So now we have these two, and you know what? Guess what, this, these are gonna be Rot's arms and legs, isn't that cool? But we're just gonna put them aside for right now. Okay, now we're ready to actually cut out Rot's body. So, take your scissors, and just slowly cut along Rot's outline here. And as you go, sometimes it's, easier to turn the paper than to turn your scissors. That's what I'm doing. I'm just turning my paper. I'm leaving my scissors in one direction and then turning the paper when I get to a corner. Here we go. I'm going to turn, 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 turn. Going all around. Almost there. Okay, our potato's free, there he is. Our next step now is, now that we have the body, we're gonna kinda just put him aside and we're gonna take our white piece of paper. This is where we're gonna draw Rot's eyes and his teeth. So to start, if you want, you can use a pencil to draw the shapes. Rot has one eye that's bigger than the other, so first I'm gonna draw a big eye, and then I'm going to draw a bit of a smaller eye. And rot, I, on my rot, I have three teeth, and I'm going to go start down at the bottom and do three hills. One, two, three. So then I'm going to go back over those lines I drew, if, if I'm happy with them. If not, I could have erased them and started over if I wasn't happy, but I'm happy with them now, so I'm going to take my black marker and trace along more or less, 
the outline here. It's okay if you don't do it perfect because you, you can always erase those pencil lines and his teeth. Okay, now we're gonna cut these out, so more cutting practice. Um, I don't like to just start going in and cutting when I have a big piece of paper like this, so I'm gonna make this easier for myself. I'm gonna cut off the teeth into a smaller, more manageable piece of paper to cut. And then you can even do that, you can even do, like cut each in the middle here, and then work at one at a time. So again, I'm kinda of just turning my paper and sort of leaving my scissors straight ahead. You guys can practice with that and see if that is helpful for you when you're cutting your shapes. And I'm trying to stay outside of my black line, but it's okay if you don't, because you can always touch that up if you want to later. So one, two, and three teeth, here we go. Okay, I've got my three teeth. I'm just gonna put those right there. Next, the eyes again. I'm gonna make this a small, smaller here to help me. So I'm gonna cut those apart. I'm gonna cut this big piece of paper off here on there. Okay. I can start doing the circles. And circles are tricky to do, I know. But as long as you're kind of just turning the paper, it actually might, you might be able to surprise yourself on how well you can do but it definitely takes practice. Okay, got one eye, the smaller eye, next for the big eye, here we go. Is where you can also take your pencil. I did see I kind of, I didn't do it perfect, did I? And that's okay, because I'm just gonna erase this little pencil line here. Like it was never there. Okay, so we got our, our teeth and our eyes all cut out. Okay, so now we're gonna start by putting Rot's eyes on. We've got his large eye and his small eye. And you can kind of play around with where you like them, especially if you have a copy of the book with Rot. You can kind of look at his picture if you like and see, or just do how, you know, what looks nice to you. So I like maybe about here. We need to um, save a little room up here for Rot's eyebrows. Um, so he has enough room for an eyebrow, so I think this is a good spot to put him. Then we're gonna get our glue stick, and I'm gonna flip it over right in the spot where I wanna glue, and I'm gonna put my glue stick on the back of his eye. Like this, flip it back over, and press it down. Flip his other eye over. Put the glue stick on the back of his eye. And there we go. push it down. Actually, I think I kind of want to turn it like that, maybe. Yeah, whatever looks good to you. Okay. I think that looks good to me, so I'm going to push that down. All right, so next we are going to do draw in Rod's pupils with your black marker. So in his big eye, his pupil is bigger, so I'm going to do a big circle in this one. And in his little eye, his pupil is smaller, so I'm gonna do a little circle in this one. I'm gonna color in my little circle, and I'm gonna color in my big circle, which will take me a little bit longer, but there we go. There we are. And while you're here, if you want, you don't have to, but you can kind of outline his eyes a little bit more like this. It kind of makes it look more like him, I think. But it's not a necessary step. You don't have to if you don't feel like it. Okay, and then just kind of outline this one. And Rot, on his smaller eye, he kind of has this 
unique feature, and it's kind of like this little wrinkle under his eye. And it starts right around here, and you kind of just draw it down, and it kind of goes over like that. Um, and you, you don't have to do that either, but if you want to, you can just make this little line that's going around on the bottom of his smaller eye. Okay. So as you can see, this is by no means perfect, but I don't want it to be perfect because that's what's special about Brat. He is not perfect, and that's okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to put in his nose, and his nose is here. His nose is made out of two, they're mostly, they look like, I'm going to practice drawing them before I actually do it. They're like two ovals, and his nose kind of looks like this. Oval is kind of like a stretched out circle, sort of a long stretched out circle. So he's got one, two, about like this. I can also practice here on, with pencil. So I'm going to make one that's a little bit smaller, and then let's do one that's a little bit bigger, because that's kind of, Rot has those features like that. Okay, and then with my black marker again, I'm just going to go over those. Color it in, and then go over the other oval. Color that one in. Okay. Now we've got our marker out, we might as well do his smile. Well again, if you want to do it in pencil, you can definitely do that. So I'll do that too. So his smile starts right, right about here, not right up by his eye, but right, right about under it. And then it's like really big, it's like, oh, he's really happy, look at that. And I'm going to use my marker to go over my pencil. And I'm not actually following it exactly because that was sort of like a guiding line. And I kind of liked it over this way better. So again, I'm just going to erase that pencil line because it wasn't exactly what I wanted. And then that's okay. Okay. Now we can do his teeth. And his teeth, I'm going to put like maybe one on the side, one on the bottom. And one on the other side, just like that. Again, taking, flipping it over and putting our glue on the tooth, not on the, the paper, flip it um, on the rot part. Put the glue just on the tooth. Oops, stuck right to it, cool. Um, push it down. Okay, this is like the part you can kind of see he's really starting to take shape. He looks like somebody, doesn't he? Okay. And this part again too, if you wanted to make his mouth a little thicker or you wanted to like cut, like outline the teeth again like this a little bit more, you can do that too. Um, he needs eyebrows. And actually sometimes in some of the pictures, he just has like one big eyebrow. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do one big eyebrow. And this part's kind of fun because it's just like, um, you kind of just go like this. Ah, rot eyebrow, ah, There you go, that's his eyebrow. Okay, so we have, well, you know what? We have one more thing to do. I totally forgot, you guys. Potatoes have, well, they're actually called eyes, which not these kind of eyes, but they're little spots. They're little like spots all over them, and that's where pota potatoes sprout from. And Rot has a bunch of those. So we're just gonna put little black dots all over them, wherever you want. Kind of like freckles. There we go, okay. All right, so now we are getting to the part where we're gonna do, use our pipe cleaners to make Rot's hair. And in all the pictures I've seen, Rot has five pieces of hair. So I have three pipe cleaners. I'm gonna cut one of them in half and ask your adult helper if they think they should be doing this because this can be kind of tricky. So, oh, 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 can I do it? I see it's tricky. Okay, so I have one piece now and two pieces. I made that one into two and I'm gonna cut my other next one right kind of in the middle. So let's see, do I have enough small pieces of hair? One, two, three, four. I need one more to make five, so I'm just gonna cut this one in half and just use one part of it, and I have an extra one. I'm gonna do something else with it. I'll just put it aside for now. Okay. So now I'm gonna flip Rot over. Make sure, again, that this is his, yep, his eyes are here, so I want his hair up here. And 
I'm gonna kind of lay it out how I think. We're not gonna see this part, we're just gonna see this is the part of the hair that's gonna be sticking up, and that's about a good length for his hair. So I'm gonna put him how I think will be nice. Yeah, like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna get some tape. I have like a super cool tape dispenser, so I just kind of, I don't, I can just do it with one hand. Some of you guys might have, um, you know, tape that's like in a little dispenser that you're, you're holding, and those are kind of hard to do. So you might need a little help getting pieces of tape, um, or it's a good time to practice pulling the tape off. I take it and I pull it, and then I kind of pull it down. I don't just pull it right, like, right straight down, but kind of like from the side, and if you can see that ripping. It's a good thing to practice because this can harden. Sometimes you go like to get tape and it, oh my goodness, you know, and that's that's too much tape. You, nobody needs that much tape really, so I'm just going to put that away. But that happens, I know. So try and get just the right amount that you need. Hold it down, tape that one on. Next piece of hair. Getting them all taped down. Rot's hair is not going anywhere. Let's flip it over and see what his hair looks like. Oh, okay. And this is kind of fun because you can kind of make his hair kind of, you know, maybe it's like blowing in the wind or something. Because if you look his his pictures, he kind of his hair is kind of doing doing different things. It's not just straight up and down. It's it's styled. So we can style his hair. There we go. Okay. Now, remember I told you about these handles. Well, they're back and we're gonna use them for his arms and legs. And first we wanna peel away any of this extra glue. Uh, there we go. Gonna, you don't have to get it all off, that's fine. That one's not too bad. And again, we're gonna cut these in the middle too. And here's the middle. And ask your adult helper if you need to, because again, this is a little tricky. Okay, that one's in half. And then the next one. Oh, it is tricky, okay. There we go. All right, flip you over, Rot, one more time. All right, so we want hands, right? Arms and hands. I like, so when we cut it, it was like this, and when we cut it, these almost kind of look like his like arms and hands sort of sticking up, so I'm gonna put it on those side, this, this way, so it looks like this, and then plus the pieces with like the kind of glue are back here then, and you won't see it when you're looking at him. Again, get a piece of tape, tape that one down, tape his other arm down, and then time for your legs, right? And you can do, um, here he'd have his feet going the same way, this way he'd have his feet going like this, whatever you like. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it like this so his feet are both going the same way, but you can do it however you like. Okay, let's flip him over and take a look. I think he's doing pretty good. Um, now, you know, in the book, Rot's the bravest in the world, and one of the ways he becomes so brave, to help him be brave, is he makes himself a cape. And I drew a cape shape here on my piece of paper, um, making sure that it would fit on Rot. Okay, so again, we're gonna practice doing our cutting. I'm gonna cut off, well, I guess I don't need to. I was gonna say I was gonna cut that, but I, you know, you don't need this piece, so you can just cut that away. And then if you want, you can be more precise and careful and kind of cut near the line. Practice. And it does not have to be perfect, of course. And these little parts are gonna be the tabs that hold, like his sort of like neck um, tabs that will hold his cape in place. Okay, turn the paper. Alrighty. All right, Rot, are you ready? I'm just gonna put him right on, right on his cape here. Let's see where, probably a little bit, yeah, right, right about there, I think. And these are just 
just gonna flip over like this. Okay. So you kind of fold them over, crease them so they stay sort of bent, and then put them back a little bit and use your glue gun on those tabs. One side of his cape. And the next side. Okay, now Rot is just about ready. The one thing that the author and illustrator Ben Clanton shows in his Rot books is, you know, sometimes when Rot is um, from the back, you can see his little behind. <laughs> so if you guys want, I know it's kind of silly, but we can draw his little behind, just like one line. That's it. And then for modesty's sake, his cape will cover that. Okay. So there he is. All done. That's it. Our rot potato character is all ready to be a super potato. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun making rot. And join me next time at the Cary Area Library for another fun art project. Thank you.